Hey guys, Mr. Wahidul Haki, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be upgrading my RAM from 8GB to 32GB. So, as you can see, on idle we are at 52% RAM, and under load we're on quite a bit, and well, we nearly hit 100. And a few, just opening one, one or two websites will put me into 80%, which is quite bad. And yeah, definitely need more RAM. And some games utilize more RAM than, than anything, but because it's capped, it won't ever touch the potential. As you can see, my CPU is very good, it's only 1%. GPU is on 2%, CPU is on 0 RAM's on 52%. So we need to lower that number. Okay, now let me just show you the RAM performance. As you can see, most of it's cached at the moment, which is good. Just means your system will be speed, speeded up. So when I put 32 gigs in, it should be more cached as well. So that should make everything load faster. Okay, now I'll show you CPU ID. Okay. Now this, the ones I have currently is Samsung ones. 8 gigabytes, 2, 4 gigabytes ones. Memory. And they're running in dual channel. But, uh, what's it called? I think the single rank here. They're using single rank, which is quite bad. So it's slower than double rank. So double rank, uh, if you've seen my unboxing video, it's just uh, the memory chips are one below, one above, like that. Whereas this one's all in one row. So one above, one below means you can simultaneously access the data at the same time. And it's a lot faster, so yeah. Uh, the clock timing is going to be exact same. 19, 19, 19 on the new RAM. And yeah, it's the same speed as well, 2666. DDR4. So yeah, let's go ahead and put that in. I'm gonna take apart the laptop now and you will have a see that now how to take it apart. Alright guys, I'm just gonna show you how to take this apart. The laptop apart, I mean. So if you got the older version of the Acer Nitro 5, you'll have uh, two panels, one for your RAM, one for your hard drive, so you can upgrade them. So basically you have to take apart them first and then do this what I'm doing now. But if you have the newer version, which is this one, all you have to do is take out all these screws. So there's quite a few. I'll just go through all of them quickly. Make sure you don't lose these screws. All you need for this is a normal crisscross, crisscross, uh, what do you call it? Screwdriver. So yeah. Okay. And you are meant to have a warranty sticker right there. But this one doesn't have it for some reason. Which is very odd. To say this is a new laptop. There's no point even contacting Acer because they couldn't even help me with my other issue, so I thought, oh, fuck you, innit? Okay, one off, two off. So you're gonna go around the whole laptop, take out all the screws, and just quickly take these out. If you have any USBs in, make sure you take them out because that's what I had in. I had a USB Bluetooth thing there, I just took it out. Okay, this one up here. Take that out as well. This is why you need a magnetic tip. Helps a lot. Just in that situation where it was just spinning on the spot. Keep spinning it, there you go. Magnet helps. Okay, on to the next one, then we've got one in the middle there. Yeah, majority of these are like that. You have to magnet tip them out like that. Yep. And once you take the cover off, make sure you discharge yourself first to get rid of any static shock. Okay, down to the bottom. I don't have my tripod with me. Again, it's at the garage. Sorry about that. Oh, shit. Good thing I didn't leave a mark. have to be very careful with that. That's why I'm recording with one hand, doing the work with the other hand. So bear with me, guys. Sorry about that. 
Might just order the tripod, one for home, one for my garage. I'm doing a lot of work in the garage. And you're gonna see a lot more videos, car videos, a lot more. I'm just very behind on my schedules, editing and shit. You're most likely gonna see the Astronex, I think. Then probably the Sierra Leone. Mm, what would I probably do? Uh, maybe SV after that. Because that's the order of edited it in. This one just keeps spinning. Come on. There you go. Okay. All the screws should be out now. Show you all of them. Yep. Yep. Double check all of them. Yep. Before you start tugging on the case. Yep. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. Yep. They're all out. Now, if you have a thing to deliver it with, it'd be a lot easier. Put a, or a guitar pick or anything like that. But I don't. So I'm just going to. Use my fingernails to try to get it in. So, mm, it's gonna be hard to show you as well. I might have to get something to deliver it with. I'm trying to think. This bit would be the best way to get in. Can you see that? Right in that tiny gap. It's creating an opening. You just wanna start from one corner, work your hand away all the way around it, till you make a big enough gap. I might have to find something to lever it with. As you can see, it's already started opening. I might just pause the video, it'll make it easier to do with two hands. So all you're doing is putting your finger tip to or whatever you're using. All the way around, all the way around the edge. This bit you'll struggle a bit on, but you just press a bit harder. Go around there, all the way around, and then pull it up. So I'll do that now. As you do it, you'll hear a couple of clicks of it coming out of place, which is good. So, so far about this much can't do much without a second hand so i'm going to pause the video and then carry on okay as you can see i've got the whole bottom side now go open now i want to the right side now this is the ethernet port just want to be careful with this bit took on you a bit i'll come off you know there's a connector right there it's not a connector it's just a tab basically it'll click out of place when you get it out it's these things here can you see yeah, let me zoom in for you them things, that's what's making them clicking noises. So yeah, I'm just gonna take that corner out because I'm definitely gonna need two hands for that. So that's the most hardest bit on the thing. After that, you're okay. Okay guys, that was very hard work without a tool. So I recommend you get a tool. Especially these corner bits, they're very hard to get out. But I managed to get it out. So what I did was work around from there, all the way around there, up to there. Then I went up all this side, then went around the back, went around that way. And there should be no wires on it yet. To say this is a new laptop, look how much dust I've collected. Fucking hell, guys. Look at the fun. It's a brand new laptop as well. Okay. What the hell? Someone's been scratching that? Bastards. Okay. So this is not connected by any wire, so you can get rid of that for now. I shall move that somewhere. Somewhere clean when I find a place. And then, yeah. Get everything here, as you can see. I'm gonna quickly give that a bit of a dust out. There's a bit of stickiness there, something. Fucking hell, that's a bit dusty as fuck. I've had this laptop for two months. Look how dusty it is. Especially there, look at that massive dust bunny. Really bad. Right, I'm gonna quickly give you a quick clean and then. We'll carry on the video. Alright guys, if you not watch my last video, go check it out. I've got the case open now, as you can see. It was a bit dirty, we cleaned it off as best as I could. Without a compressed there, so it is what it is. So I installed M.2 in my last video, I'll check it out. And now we're going to install the RAM, which is the crucial ones. 32GB, two of them, 16 gigs each. Uh, this is a dual rank as well, which is really good. 1.2 volts CL19 and the timing is 191919 19, 19, which is the same as the one I have in now which is two Samsung ones but they're running single rank as you can see single rank is one memory chip on each board whereas there is two two uh, layers what you call it lines which is better because it's you can read them more faster in in the same place so I would recommend taking out the battery but uh, as you can see it's taped down I don't want to fuck in it might as well do it. 
So what you want to do is take out the old RAM. Simple as taking these tabs apart. You might have to do both at once or they might fling out. There you go. Yep, it flinged. Make sure you uh, de-static to yourself first, which I have done. Okay, there you go. One of the memory chips out. This should be four gigs. Oops. Yeah, four gigabyte. One R means it's single rank. Okay, PC4 2666 is the speed. And they're the same speed as well. So let me just put this to the side somewhere. Don't need, really need this at the moment. Okay, we're going to take out the other one as well. Do the same thing. This one didn't fling up as much. Because I did not open it as much. Oh, very careful. It's going to fling hard. I have to use two hands for this one. There you go. Okay, that's it. Simple as that. Two RAM sticks out now. Okay, now we want to get the new ones out. So these are the crucial ones. So these are exact same RAM sticks, I think. Should be the same same size. Anyways, okay. Taking this case off might be a lot harder with one hand. Looks like to put some sort of button thing on it. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna pause the video. Take this out because it's got some sort of button system which I can't do with one hand it seems. Okay guys, RAM's out now as you can see. So dual rank like that. 16 gigs each, DDR4, blah blah blah, exact same ones. I like the colour of that as well, the green PCB board and that. Okay, so exact same size as you can tell. Now you're going to grab these by the side as much as you can. Which prolongs the life really. Oh. Look, exact same size, yeah. So you want to go with the, where the notches are and you want the sign facing you so there's the notch on this side that won't work so you want this one here okay uh, all you're doing is pushing this in there you go push it all the way in push it on you should click in place there you go and make sure that's in yep next one so the crucial sign should be facing you on both sides and all you're looking for is that notch there and you line with that notch there can you see there so don't think this side is gonna have the crucial sign on nope okay i have to this game very difficult to do guys with one hand okay get that in there there you go okay it's lined up as you can see Show that in all the way. There you go. That's fully in as you can see. You press that down. There you go. Full in. Now when you first start up your PC again next time, it might restart again just because you got new RAM in there, it's new hardware. So all it does is quickly check it. Really, really quick check. And uh once you have started up your system, you want to check your task manager, make sure you got the full 32 gigs of RAM. So that's how you know if it's, uh, if it's been registered and shit. Or you could just check in your BIOS if you know how to. Most people do, but if you're not computer literate, then I'm just telling you it's easier to check on task manager, which is control shift escape or control or delete, then click task manager. Or you can search in the bottom left task manager. Okay. And then you want to run a, in the bottom left, type in a disk. Is it disk? No. Basically, just Google how to do a RAM check. I think I've put a video up anyway. But it's a very long time ago, so it's probably easier for you to search up on Google. So do look for a RAM check. How to do a RAM check. So it'll check both RAM sticks. Make sure there's no faults on it. If there's a fault, you want to... It'll try fix it itself if you can't, then uh, it'll tell you. You want to run that test again, and then make sure there's no more faults. If there's faults again, these will be faulty and you want to return them so yeah hopefully these are good because crucial is a good brand and i've got rid of all the static on my hand and stuff so it's been a clean install so it should be okay anyways guys thank you guys for watching if you're not checked out my m.2 install go check it out my next video i'm gonna do a, i'm gonna open this heatsink up and we're gonna change the paste we're gonna repaste it with thermal creonaut ultra high performance thermal grease I'm just going to give this another wipe down because you can see a bit of dust collecting again. So yeah, that's why. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Goodbye. I'll see you guys next time.